Watch Ahead Initiative. I'm with the award-winning hard rock band from the north of Scotland. It's Bad Actress. How are you? We're good. We're good. Good. I should add we're with four of the members. So we've got three brothers and one that's not a brother. And the final member who's only just joined, did join us briefly for this chat, but had to go because we had technical difficulties. We'll, put it, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, but we'll come on to discuss them in a minute. Why don't you introduce yourselves, tell us your names and your ages. Okay, I'm Louis. I'm the drummer. Louis obviously short for Lewis. And I'm the youngest. I'm 17. Pleased to meet you. You too. Right. My, my name's Chip. Uh, I'm, my real name's Struan. And they're not connected in any way. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm 19 and I'm, I'm the middle child. Okay. I'm, um, I'm Vinnie Vex. I, I just tend to keep my birth name out of anything band related to avoid any confusion. I'm the singer and I'm 21. Okay. I'm Tommy B. I'm the rhythm guitarist. I'm 23. And my real name's Thomas. Right. Well, I'm pleased to meet you all. So we've got, you know, nice uh, range of ages there from 17 to 23. Now, I mentioned you were award an award-winning band. So what award have you won? <laughs> what, what award haven't we won? Oh, <laughs> what haven't you won? Let's start with that then. What, what you brought you it won? home. No, I, what have we won? Uh, we... we... Uh, we won that um, battle, battle of the bands for, for mental health aid in Aberdeen. I think was kind of the first kind of bigger thing we won, and then um, we I think it was a third place award in the Dundee West Fest, is it? Yeah. Um, which had kind of different rounds in it, and then we did um, High Hub Rock Factor as well. Okay. At the High Hub Rock Factor one, we won best overall, but Chick also got best guitar solo and we got best cover song as well. Oh, wow. Well done. Very, very good. Um, I want to talk about your style of music because I would say, I mean, I, I'm sure you could describe it better than me. I would describe it as kind of 80s style glam sleaze hard rock. Um, where did this kind of influence come from because you are only young and those bands were around way before that scene was before you were born so I, is it I, your parents you know i'm assuming your peers aren't into this kind of music or are they it, it's a, a kind of i think i think our parents were into kind of acdc and i don't know when i met tommy he was really into acdc so we kind of wrote stuff in that style but someone described this the other day as like a mix between acdc and motley crew mm. and that's quite good because um, you were really into that kind of thing, weren't you, Tom? Yeah, I still am. But yeah, I, that's just like that's the that's the music that spoke to me. So that's why I wanted to play, you know. So what do your friends think of this? Your non-rock friends? Do they think it's weird? Or do they think it's cool? What do they make of it? Most of them, uh, most of them just tend to compare us to Steel Panther because that's as far as their glam knowledge goes. Um, were you always called Bad Actress, or did you go by another name? Uh, we used to be Air Raid years ago. Air Raid? That's what I read. I thought you called. So what made you change your name? Oh, oh this is a good story, actually. Um, we got one <laughs> bad review of our name, and Stru and Struan uh, wanted to change it instantly. It was the only bad thing in the review. Well, what, was, what did they say about it? What did the reviewer say? I mean, what was bad about the name? He just said, please change it, for the love of God. <laughs> it, was, it, wasn't, it was spelled like A I R R. -A -E. I saw it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I just I just thought bad actress was cooler because I actually wanted to call it that before, but Tommy hated it. So let's talk about your music. What sort of things do you write about? Where do you get your inspiration from for your songs? You you write more interesting stuff than I do, Tommy. The lyrics and that, don't you? Oh, okay. Tommy um. In his car. Yeah, um, I mean, there's road rage. That's that's personal experience. I'm pretty. I used to be pretty bad for road rage. Right. Uh, um, there's a one song, High Speed Heartbreak. I just wanted it to sound like a Motley Crue song, 
after I watched the Motley Crew movie, so that's where that stemmed from. Are we talking about the dirt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a must watch. But yeah, uh, we all we all fell in love with that movie. <laughs> but I also I, I, thought it was, I thought it was nothing like I expected it to be. Are you are you trying to to emulate that lifestyle? Would you say? Uh, no, it was a happy accident. We just sort of saw it and related to it. <laughs> just just to confirm. <laughs> You're too know. young, I think, to relate to yeah. that. But no, we've um we've always wanted to be rock stars. You know, I can't think of a thing. <laughs> want to be in a band okay being, so is that why you do it then we being four years old and watching a dvd of acdc and thinking that's what i want to do for the rest oh of my wow life. And, and when did your first band start when cause you said that that was years ago and given your age you must have been pretty young when that began well uh, we had a three-piece punk band for a while when louis was only 10 i think when we started that oh band. wow we were gigging all around Scotland and everything. Very impressive. So you, you can gig, but you can't you can't have a drink in, in where you go. So if you you're in a pub, I'm afraid. Well, not legally, but. <laughs> Wait, are, you, are you saying people buy you drinks illegally? It's, it's... I think that probably happened quite a lot with that band. Didn't... Yeah. What's it like for your parents having three of you? Oh, I feel so Making bad. Making noise in the house all day it, long, I imagine. I mean, it, it's, yeah, you feel for the, I, feel, I feel more for them having us as their kids. You know? Yeah. Oh, least, you know, I'm, sure like I'm proud of you. But, um, I'm sure they're very, very proud of you. Um, Chick, you're having a custom guitar made, is that right? Yeah. Um, I just, I'm really excited about that. It was just out of nowhere I met this guy on Instagram. Who, who builds guitars and we were chatting to him um, and, and he just kind of said off oh, you guys ever want any guitars so I was like yeah okay I'll have one <laughs> go for it yeah so um, yeah, I'm yeah. Sure as well. he's put a lot of detail into it as well I, I just kind of said you know don't don't go through too much hassle but he was like yeah so he's, he's putting like the inlay and everything Right um, the logo, so cool. And have you got it yet, or are you waiting for it to arrive? No, I think um, I think it's going to take him a wee while. He said he's not too sure, and he's down in England, so he doesn't know. Like, it can be a bit iffy posting guitars. Yeah, like, I did that once and snapped the neck came. Like, oh no! Down, so. Not what you want. Well, I hope, I hope you get it soon, and it's not in it's in one piece rather than yeah. two or three. I just want to congratulate you on this lovely article in the very first uh, issue of Emerging Rock Bands magazine. Oh, very interesting read. I think everyone should have a have a look at this. It's you know fantastic. Lovely picture of you as well, looking extremely um, yeah Motley Crue esque. I would say stroke. Guns and Roses possibly thrown in there as well with the bandanas. So um, very nice. I'm only I'm only in the band for the outfits. <laughs> now you do have so a brand new member who's not here right now. So that's Alexi. So he's a new bassist. He's only been with you for about a week at the moment. How how's he getting on? You know him best, Tommy. You, you... Yeah, I've I known Alex since we were in high school. We were in a couple of bands before Bad Actress started up. He's actually the one that showed me ACDC and Aerosmith. And just, he got me into that music. So it's, it's really cool to have him on board. Um, he, he knows his stuff and it's, it's pretty good to have, have him in the band. Okay, well, I just want to congratulate you on, on joining the Forge Ahead initiative. I'm sure really good <laughs> things are on their way to you once lockdown's over. I hope to see you. Uh, when we're able to get out and, and go to gigs and festivals and things again. Um, so it's been really good chatting to you guys. I wish you all the best. Thank you for having us. Very welcome. Lots of love and big hugs and squeezes to you all. <laughs> yeah. Bye, guys.